Hi guys! Today is Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and I just got back from the gym. Listen, I ate so much food yesterday, it was crazy. Now, I just ate four ounces of food every time I ate. I actually used my scale because um, I just been weighing my food more. I'm so excited that I've been weighing my food. I got my scale from Amazon. Um, I believe it was about 13 bucks or something. Uh, yeah, so I just got a kitchen scale from them. And I'm excited to use it because you know what? Four ounces of food mentally doesn't seem like a lot. But when you actually put it on a plate, it looks like more than enough food. And honestly, I can't get through four ounces of food in one sitting. So it usually takes me, I want to say almost two hours just to eat the four ounces. So, which is not, I don't consider it to be bad as long as I can get the four ounces down. But for the most part, um, it does take me quite a bit of time to get all of it down. But with that being said, let's get into my stats and then I will tell you guys why we here for this video. I'm pretty sure you see the title already, but let's start with the stats. So I am three months post-op. Uh, my VSG surgery was August 8th. Uh, my highest weight is 296. I do live in New York and I had my VSG surgery at Mount Sinai Hospital. So, uh, yeah, stats, sorry. 296 was my highest weight back in April when I first started this whole process. My surgery weight was 274, and do forgive me because I am looking at my little chalkboard that I'm going to revamp today. So my surgery weight was 274. My goal weight is just to be fabulous, okay? <laughs> and my current weight is 274. 33 so there's a video coming after this one which is quite long so i do apologize um i did a liquid diet again and totally failed at the liquid diet but you guys will see that video i tried to record for the six days yesterday was um my last day of the liquid diet so yeah but you guys will see um the ups and downs of that video so that will be coming up after this one so i created a and i created an <laughs> instagram page okay you guys have been asking for pictures so i created a whole instagram for this and it's called living with vsg so definitely look below in the description box so you can see it i have pictures of um before surgery which was my highest weight um some of the pictures that i'm will be posting will be more from maybe two or three years ago when I first started my weight loss journey before and um, just some current pictures. I try to take pictures every day um, so I definitely would have that um, up and some pictures. It's a little easier to post pictures on Instagram. I do have three Instagram accounts so they will all be listed below. Um, yeah, so I have one for my graphic design work. I have one for my nails. Um, my press on nail company and I have one now for the VSG journey so go check them out especially the VSG journey if you're on a VSG uh, journey or you're on like a weight loss journey definitely leave your Instagram below so we can like follow each other I'm excited so yeah all right so uh, today I went to the gym and I had my it's like amino acids no antioxidants let me get the container because i be lying so this is supposed to help you um gain not gain muscle but to make sure that you're not losing too much muscle while you're working out so it kind of like replenish the muscles and um help you build muscle at the same time it won't be like drastic but it will help so my muscles is not definitely breaking down too much so I got the Beyond Raw brand, and actually I like this brand. I get a lot of their stuff, but this is the Precision, Precision BCAA Antibolic uh, Recovery and Power Out Power Output. Lord have mercy, uh, Black Cherry, and um, there's no protein in this. I actually have protein shakes like the powders. Um, I actually do have protein shakes, the ones that I can just drink and go. that's already mixed up um and then i have the powder ones 
that I barely touch, but um, at some point I pull them out and I just mix it with some almond milk and um, some fruit like in a smoothie every once in a while, but I've been trying to stay away from the fruit. So, um, the main point of this video was about the Instagram, but we're going to get into some MCT oil, okay? So, I bought me and babe MTC oil um, from G&C today. So, these was about $20 a piece, and this is the Beyond Raw brand as well. The only thing in here is MCT oil. Do be careful when you buy these because some of them have other ingredients in it. I like pearl stuff give me it raw i'll figure out how to use it myself i don't like to buy supplements that are more than what i'm looking for so example you buy b12 make sure it's only b12 make sure there's nothing else added to it um i like pearl stuff so i try to stick to that but mct oil is from coconut oil so do your research before you go buy anything but um yeah so this only has mct oil in it it says to take one of one serving and you can mix it into other beverages so yeah i bought me and babe one it says it's supposed to help with energy your metabolism um and it's never stored in your body so it's it's gonna always come out uh so yeah i bought us those today um right now i'm just drinking the rest of my water i took to the gym and the rest of the beyond raw um antioxidants low have mercy um yeah so um i have that so uh let's see what else i wanted to tell you guys i'm gonna make this video short because the next video is like drastically long for no reason um so i'm just gonna take my vitamins now i will leave the link below so you guys can see the vitamins the vitamins that i'm taking the only thing that i'm not taking in that video is a fat burner but um i'm taking everything else um plus calcium citrate um if you drink milk and stuff like that for vsg then they don't recommend that you take that unless you have bypass surgery but i don't drink milk uh, and I don't get enough calcium in a day, so I actually take a calcium supplement. Um, Alright, so I did the liquid diet. I'm thinking about doing vegan keto. Um, I've been researching it a lot because it, it's kind of hard to do keto being vegan. Um, as far as like fats and carbs and trying to keep your protein high. Um... So I'm trying to hit 64, between 64 and 80 grams of protein a day. So I'm going to be probably doing a little bit more of protein as far as like mixing the protein with my food again. Um, I was doing that for a little while when I first got the surgery done three months ago. And just kind of like, it just fell below the waistline. I just stopped doing it. But um, just to make sure I'm getting that protein in. So the point of me doing the liquid um the liquid diet as you will see in the next video was so that i can get all my protein in and then try to incorporate intimate fasting afterwards so starting tomorrow i'm going to start intimate and fasting intimate and fasting um so i'm thinking about doing 24 like i was doing before in my previous videos um I'm thinking if I should do like 12 to 4 because then I'm going to start going to the gym after work faithfully. Um, I want to stop eating and I want to be able to start my fasting um, at about 5 p.m. So I'm thinking to do maybe 1 to 5 p.m. or 1 to 4. I'm thinking 1 to 4 since I'm already at work and then I'm already kind of like moving around and then go to the gym at 7 p.m. when I get off work. So yeah, that's the plan. We'll figure it out. I just had some cookies. They're protein cookies. This is the uh, Lenny and Larry's brand. And these are amazing. They have protein cookies, like those really big ones, but they're really hard to eat because it's so much. Um, these are vegan. They're 160 calories for six cookies. I had two. And it's nine grams of sugar, six grams of protein. And the whole bag is 20 grams of protein. But, uh, I ate two cookies and was already full, so, and they're pretty small. They're a little smaller than what's on the back here, but, um, 
yeah so i had two of those i try my best to get my protein in however i can if i can have a protein bra i will do that i've been having protein yogurts um and just the protein shakes and then when i eat food it's more about getting my fats in and getting my veggies in since i basically try to get all the protein in in liquid form or powder um, I've been trying to wing myself off of that a little bit because I find that the the pro like the liquids and the powder is pretty much making my stomach stay at the place that it is, right? And not in a bad way. I'm not saying it because I want my stomach to stretch, but when I go eat food, I get fuller faster, right? So instead of me being able to eat four ounces, which I should be able to eat now, um, and not even be able to eat, but to consume most of it, I find that after about two ounces, just about, I kind of get full. Like that first initial bite of food, I'm like instantly full. And then after about five or ten minutes, I can go back in and eat. And then I feel a little better. Like my stomach feels um, not as tight. So I've been trying to lay back on the liquids a little bit more and focus a little bit more on actually chewing food but it's a little hard i'm not gonna lie to you and say i that i eat a lot more than usual like yesterday i ate a lot more food throughout the day compared to any other day and i think it was just thanksgiving and people being here and um being able to say okay i'm gonna eat like this because it's thanksgiving because on a regular day i do the protein shakes i do um I could do like protein water. Sometimes I add like an unsweetened or a no flavor protein shake to water. And then I just sip that throughout the day. So I've been trying to kind of get all my protein in, but it ain't the easiest thing. Um, my hair hasn't been falling out drastically. So that's a good thing. I take about 10,000 grams of biotin a day. So that's been helping. I've been using um, protein based products as far as like shampoo conditioner i've been doing protein treatments about every week i even been styling with them a little bit so it's kind of been helping seal my ends and um my hair haven't been, hasn't been like falling out from the root um i am a cosmetologist so it's a little easier for me because i already know the tricks to keeping your hair healthy and making sure that the hair is not falling out as far as like protein intake and how important it is um so i have a little bit more understanding of those of those things but it has been shedding a little bit more just not something drastic that i have to take a little bit more like a serious measure for so so yeah it's, a, it's about almost one o'clock so i'm just going to get on my computer in a few minutes try to set up some stuff so that i can um start sketching a little bit of some nail designs because I, I don't know i'm like you know a little energe energetic right now i want to kind of get my chalkboard together and just write down some stuff and i want to do like little affirmations that i can kind of put around the room to kind of keep me um grounded a little bit so yeah um Honestly, I think that's all I really want to talk to you guys about. The Instagram was a little bit more of a task <laughs> that I really want to talk to you guys about. Um, the one thing that has been bothering me recently is that I haven't been able to have a bowel movement. Um, I have been struggling a little bit with that. And I find that the less food I eat and the more protein I eat, the less of a bowel movement I have. So, the more constipated that I am. So I'm going to take some milk of magnesia today. I have about like three or four of these things just laying around the room. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this today. Uh, hopefully it would help some. So yeah, so I'm going to go take this. I'm going to drink the rest of my water and this stuff here. And just get my day started. Um, yeah. So make sure you guys follow my Instagram page because you guys wanted it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>